I know what it's like. You're just, you're trying to make that perfect mix and it's just, it's so hard and you don't know how to do it and you're struggling. So what's up y'all? Today I'm gonna teach you guys how I make the perfect mix. Um, and let me break that down right there. Um, first things first, I throw that out. I never make the perfect mix, never. I never set my, um, my uh, standard to perfect because perfect is pretty well um, not real. You know what I'm saying? Um, because if you're trying to set yourself to perfect all of the time, you're gonna have perfectionist syndrome and you're never gonna like release stuff. When I make like mixes, and you guys can uh, quote me right here today, um, I'm building this mix for today. Like it's Friday night, 6 p.m. I got to uh, make this video right here, release that video, make the mix, and then rele release that mix. So I got a lot of work to do, and I pushed it all off until the end of the night. So like for most people, like I don't know about you, but most people are going to say like, F it, I'm going to do it next time. We're, we're just going to build the mix next time. But for me, um, I don't really have the option. I have to get this content out. YouTube wants me to drop a video, so I got to drop a video. And then like if I'm building a video on how to make a mix, I've already got half the work done. I may as well just make the mix. Um, and a lot of us, and like drop it in the comments for sure, um, how do you guys feel when like, you're trying to make that perfect mix and then you have like one mistake so you got to do it all over again like trust me raise your hand right now if you're one of those guys i used to be one of those guys like i would spend i, I would rehearse it 50 times until i got it exactly perfect now it's like i will never set my bar to perfect i would rat like done is always better than perfect. Done, getting something done, released, and put out there is always better than perfect. Like, unless it really sucks, then maybe don't put it out there. Maybe go back to practice. Just practice. Don't worry about filming a video. Um, work on practice. But, like, if you're good enough and it's, like, passable, just get it out there. Like, if there's a train wreck, go back, maybe edit that part, fix it up or or do it again but don't waste your time if not you're gonna practice it a million times and never actually get the content out done is always better than perfect it's like it's a mindset change for me that that changed everything like i used to be a perfectionist one million percent um it's just like really liberating when it's like you know what there is a mistake like i'm a human i'm not a robot like sometimes mistakes happen and it is what it is so Let's get into it. Without further ado, make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video. It, I, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I just, I've like got past a thousand subscribers just recently and we're moving. So shout out all of you, the Smash Squad. You guys are the real ones. Let's go. So I'm gonna give you some real content right here. So in the next four hours, I gotta build this video, build a mix video and get them both up. You guys gotta time me, let's go. Um, but anyways, I did a little bit of the work already. Um, my process is simple. You have like a giant new drop of music I was going through right now. I kind of color code all my music um, just in like the mood. So like pink here is like EDM, big room, big drums and stuff. Uh, red is a little more housey, like passable. Purple is like that new kind of sound, that new house sound that's like a little bit hard. Um, and whatever it is like do this the way that works for you but this is just like a tip like i color code music and it kind of helps me especially when you got a lot of music um so i threw all this brand new music in a folder going through it liking it and then my next step is that i would just i copy the name here uh and drop it into notepad so i would write it all here and then i also write down the bpm and the key so i take all my songs i go through here i get my songs um, find out what I like like as I'm going through color coding it kind of seeing what I like here I'm just like writing down bangers So today I was feeling like doing like this hard house the, the same house that I was talking about I'm doing a set with that So I took all the stuff that kind of sounds that way I might be getting rid of some stuff but right now the way it's set up It's like all key analyzed perfectly So I'm hoping that it works and with stems these days like who knows what I can do It'll be another stem mix for sure um, and I'm just going to do it see what happens. It looks like this might be like 10 minutes long. I'm going to try and do it very quick, um, short and to the point. So what's the next step here? We're just going to make a new crate in here. And this is like going to be my new set. We'll just say 
new mixtape. Uh, if I wanted, I could make that a whole mixtape, but because I got all the music out of here, this is just my new stuff. I know it's all in here. Uh, so what's the next step? I'm just going to do that. Copy a little bit of it. Got it. Dirty, obviously. Uh, I'm probably just going to skip forward. Like you get the uh, hint here. You just grab the tracks. All right, so once you dropped all of those in the new crate, now you're just gonna hit it by number and it should be lined up because we dropped it in order. It should already be lined up the way you want it. Uh, I love it, break my soul, unholy, without me, uh, look out weekend, shots, goodies, pump it louder. And then I noticed I have another copy of without me here. So I'm probably gonna like replace this with another spot or just delete it, period. Uh, and go from here. So that's pretty much my process. I just take the songs that I want and like once I get it into um, Serato and I'm ready to go play with it right now, uh, I might make some changes and and like a lot of times like people say, um, people get wrapped up on making sure that everything is in key. Like it, it is great that stuff is in key, but sometimes it's better to just play the right song than the right song in the right key. Or sorry, like I, Sometimes it's better to just play the right song than to play the song in the right key. So sometimes you got to throw it out like it is what it is. Um, this might change once we get into it, but pretty much that's the process. Like I just get all my new music, throw it in a folder, um, whatever I'm kind of feeling at that moment, um, I'll take them down. Yeah, and then you just get all the tracks into Notepad. They're not going to be in order, but you just rearrange it into order, uh, usually by key. Like, this is now where you can kind of do key. Um, if it's a very quick set for Instagram, like, it's probably not going to change up. So I know I can pretty well mix any of these. They're all house tracks. BPM is not that important. We fix it up by key, and then... Uh, we jumped into the mix, so very quick video, just my process on how I make a mix, and now I gotta go make a mix, so I will see you guys soon on the mix video. Better come out today, because done is better than perfect, you know what it is, like and subscribe, if you want more fire like this, kind of my hacks, how I DJ, my life, my story, let's go fam, you know what it is, like, subscribe, DJ Connect, Lego.